Okay, so what does it mean when we say two things are in proportion or they are proportional to each other? So let's say we have x, y is proportional to x. What does that mean? Yes, they increase at the same rate. So if you double the one, you're going to double the other. The graph for a proportional graph always looks like this. Uh, it's a straight line and it goes through the origin. This is a proportional graph. All right. This is y and x. A proportional graph is always a straight line. Straight line. And it goes through the origin. It goes through the zero, zero point. This is a proportional graph. We can write it mathematically by this. X, sorry, let's do it with Y. Y is equal to KX. Okay. Now, where do we find the K? What is the K? Where would we find that on the graph? The the slope or the gradient. So the slope or your gradient, this is your constant k. Now in mathematics you have usually used y is equal to mx. Okay, where m is your slope. That's your mathematical formula. Um, we will often use y is equal to kx but there's many quantities that are proportional to each other. For instance, Newton's second law that we're going to look at it says that the force is proportional to the acceleration. All right, there's a proportion relationship there. The constant of proportionality is your mass. Force is equal to ma. So when we plot force against mass, we should get, sorry, when we plot force against acceleration, we should get that going through the origin, straight line. Your slope would equal your mass. Okay, that's your proportional type graph. Now your inversely proportional graph. Or relationship is y is, is proportional to 1 over x, like that. That's your inverse. So as you double the one, you halve the other. Triple the one, it's a third of the other. So the one, as the one increases, the other decreases. We can write that as y is equal to k over x. Now, what, what sort of graph is that? What shape is that graph? It's a per no, it's not a parabola, it's a hyperbola. It's this shape graph over here. Y and X. And the, the thing about a inversely proportional graph, if I change this around, I can see that X, Y is equal to K. I can change that formula. I can write this in a different way, that X, Y is equal to K. Therefore, any point along here, x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3. Any point along there, all of them, x1 times y1 would equal k, x2 times y2 would equal k, and x3 times y3 would equal k. Okay? The multiplication of these points always equals the same value k. And that's how you can test for proportionality. You can test if two things are inversely proportional. If you, when you multiply any two points, they always equal the same value. All right, it's your test for two things that are inversely proportional. Now, we often in, in physics will want to always draw a straight line graph. So, in in working with it, we will therefore try and change around the way that we use the information to actually get a straight line coming out. So if I've got y is equal to k over x, 
how can I plot the graph so that I get a straight line that goes through the origin? What could I do? Let me just take this out here. So I've got y is equal to k over x. And I want to plot y against something, all right, something to do with x, so that my graph looks like that. What would I plot it against? What would I use? What would I plot? Well, if I just rewrite this in a slightly different way, y is equal to k times 1 over x. That's the same thing, isn't it? Okay. And I therefore, if I plot y against 1 over x, okay, if I plot y against 1 over x, I should get a straight line going through the origin with my slope equal to k. So often we manipulate or we change around the way that we, um, what we plot so that we get a straight line through the origin showing a, a proportional graph. Okay, so that's your inversely proportional situation. Um, we're going to look at this a lot in the coming examples and so forth, but it's good just to get some mathematical background for it. And the final one that comes up quite often is um, we use our uh, straight line graph. So if we get y is equal to, um, let me just use our typical maths symbols, um, mx plus c, like that. That's our straight line. Now this is not a proportional graph. I may have something like this. Important point. This is not a proportional graph. To be in proportion needs to both be a straight line and go through the origin always. All right, so it's not a proportional graph. Um, here we've got our slope again. Here the slope is equal to m, and this point over here is equal to c. Okay. 